Hello, this is Freddy Ruxman, and today I will be demonstrating how to do filtered sweeps in Logic Pro 9. Uh, filtered sweeps are often used as transitional elements to differentiate one part of a song to the next. So let's get right into it and make some filtered sweeps. So in Logic, I have already created a basic loop. It is just a verse building up into a chorus. So let's listen to it before we add the filtered sweep. Okay, so as you can see, the build is okay, but we can add something else to it to make the build a little stronger, and that's where the filter sweep comes in. Before I begin, I just want to note that in Logic Pro 9 and other DAWs, there's a million and one ways to do the same thing. So this is my method in creating filter sweeps. Other people might have different ways to do it. Just experiment and see which way works for you. This is how I create my filter sweeps. Let's add a new track. It's a software instrument, so let's create that. Um, this is the new layer that it created. I'm going to reset this layer. Okay, so in the channel strip, I want to add the plugin, the ES2 synthesizer. Let's add that in stereo. and the ES2 window will pop up. What do you want to do is the factory settings, there's a bunch of stuff that's going on already. You want to reset it so it's basically all the stuff is turned off. So um, I already have a patch that is set for this. I have a patch called reset. It resets everything to like the factory. Um, I'm going to show you guys in another tutorial how to get that patch in there and load that patch because it saves a lot of time so you don't have to reset it every single time. Okay, but for this, um, I did use my reset patch. It has one um, oscillator that's still on. I'm going to turn that oscillator off and then turn on oscillator number three. Uh, within oscillator number three, uh, I'm going to drag the knob all the way down to noise. So with the noise, I can play something on my keyboard. First of all, you got to drag this. Um, triangle all the way down to three. So when I play something on the controller, you can hear this white noise. Okay? I'm going to close this window. So I'm going to go to the part of the song where the snare starts building up into the chorus. And where the snare starts building up, I'm going to add that white noise. And I'm going to record it. So let's do that. It sounds pretty not interesting yet, so what we need to do is filter that um, white noise. Before we filter the white noise, let's make sure we quantize that white noise so that it's on the correct beat. So let's go to quantize. I'm going to use the 1 16th note, and that will make it on the beat. Okay, so the way I filter it is I'm going to go back to the channel strip and I'm going to add a channel EQ. Let's double click that. Okay, and for the sweep, I'm going to cut out a little bit of the low end. And then um, what I'm going to do is automate a sweep within the frequency. So the way you're going to automate that is you're going to go back to the channel strip and Right here, you're going to set it to latch. So what latch does is that it will record any change in the parameters that you input into your computer. So um, if I do a sweep like so, do this sweep while it's playing, and I just manually drag this mouse arrow, it will record that um, 
that action that I do. And when it plays back, it will remember that and also replay that action that I recorded into it. Let me demonstrate that. I'm going to go back in the song a little bit to the beginning of this measure. And once it plays through and starts at this snare, I'm going to sweep this all the way up to the 1700 kilohertz frequency. Okay, so let's try that. I just recorded that in manually. I dragged it over there. And because I put latch, it records um, whatever I manually input into the DAW. Let's re-listen to that. Let's close this EQ now. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little more interesting. Um, now, all you need to do is just mix this properly into the mix. So I would I think it's a little bit loud. I would just down the volume a little bit and then maybe cut out some more low frequency. So however you want to mix the filtered sweep back in is up to you. Just make sure that you turn this latch off once you're done recording the first automation so that you don't accidentally record extra automation that you don't want. So just turn this latch off and set it to read. And what this will do is it will only read whatever you prior recorded into the DAW. So that's about it for filtered sweeps. Just experiment and play around and you can filter about anything. You can filter this white noise. You can also filter the snares. Uh, make sure you check out my website at www.freddyruxpin.com for any further updates. I will be making that video on um, that complete ES2 reset so that um, you can load the patch and not have to manually reset everything to the factory settings every single time. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.